I'm Dania Astley and we are here today with Public Myth in Motion for all your snowboard needs. Now this workout today is going to be a lot of upper body rotation while your hips are stationary. So when you're on a snowboard, your feet are locked in, but everything else has to move according to where that is. So we're gonna do a lot of stuff that's gonna feel pretty tough. So know that this is always gonna be a workout that you can come back to. Um, so we're gonna do a little warm up and we're gonna get right into it. Three different sets of four exercises. So let's start with our feet planted in a squat position and we're just gonna squat and pivot one foot and rotate at the top. If you want, you can add a little punch. But we're gonna start with lifting the heel. Just getting our bodies moving. Push. Couple more. Last one here. Perfect. From this position, we're gonna hinge, get the hamstrings going, and we're gonna get the feet kind of closer together. So straight legs, reach forward straight legs. So you got to lean back, push your toes up, heels off the floor, knees over toes, and come down. Knees over toes, and back down. Two more. Last one. And we're going to rotate, opening the hips, rotate side to side, step back, rotate over the front leg. Keep the hips square, get the upper back moving. This time, we're gonna take our foot back, grab the opposite hand to knee, and circle our shoulder a couple times. Really opening up the back, keeping the hips square, step forward, other side, same thing. Reach. And then stepping forward. From here, we're gonna drive ourselves into that plank position, touch your toes, walk it forward. Hold here, spread your feet wide. We're gonna rotate up, tap your hand down. Get the heels moving. We're doing something like this in our workout today. So you gotta to rotate from your toes onto the sides of your feet. One more each side. Good, now last thing, holding that plank. Get your hip flexors going in a couple mountain climbers here. For four, three, Two, one, walk your hands all the way back up to your toes. Hips again, get the knees going nice and high, running on the spot. Three, two, and one, good. Shaking out the ankles a little bit here. Our first set's gonna look like this. Feet wide, toes pointed out. You're gonna get into a really low sumo squat and you're gonna dip one knee in and out. It's gonna feel really tough for some of you to stay in this position, but it's only 30 seconds. Wide as you can. Take one knee in, trying to keep our chest forward. And up, forward, and up. I'm burning already. So that's our first exercise. After that, we're going into our V-sit here. You're gonna sweep one hand down, keep the other one long, rotating just the upper back. After you're done that, we're going into an inchworm. Kind of like what we did in the warm up. You're going to walk yourself all the way forward as far as you possibly can. Thinking about the shoulders here and the lats, and then walk yourself all the way back up, touch your toes, walk back down. Make sure you're holding for a second at the end. Last but not least, tuck jump into a pulse. We're going to add a little spin here. You're going to do a tuck jump. One, two, come up, reset. Up, one, two, come up, other way pulse, etc. okay? Keeping your feet together on that. So in about 10 seconds, we're gonna start. You don't need any weights for this one. Let's get ourselves ready. Spread those feet out in five, 30 seconds of work, nice and wide. Pop yourself down, keep your chest forward and rotate that one hip in and back open. Staying as low as you can the whole time, focusing on internal rotation and external rotation of the hip. You should feel tight here, loosening up, and then really working the glute to open it back up. Staying low, five seconds. Two, and one. Good, giving those quads a little rest, popping down onto our back. Getting into position here with our hands forward. We're reaching back and up 
If you want to challenge yourself, lift your feet up. And rotate. Everything through here, staying nice and still. Reach the arm, 10 seconds, keep holding. Two and one, hopping back up into that inchworm position. We're gonna start by touching our toes here, walking as far as those shoulders can possibly go. Here we go. Make sure when you get to your end range that you're holding for at least a couple seconds and then walking it back up. Shoulder, core. Maybe you get a little longer than your mat. Reaching strong here. Almost there, keep going, you got five. You got one more, if you're there, hold it. Three, two, one. Coming up, getting ourselves ready. Four, the tap down. Add the 180 if you want, you don't need to. But we're gonna go up, tap our knees, pulse. Stand tall, rotate. Stand tall, other way. Pulse, stand up. Pulse, stand up, here we go. Perfect, last one, up. And shake it out. All right, we're going into that next quad burner. I'm sorry, it's like a quad to quad. This is where the heart rate stays up, get ready. Get low, here we go. Internal, external, focus. Doesn't have to be fast here. Think about this part of your glute pulling you back out. So you're rotating in and then this is pulling you back out. Almost to a 90 degree angle here, two, and one, Whew. letting those quads rinse out, laying on our backs for those V-sits, heels down or up, and we're gonna twist. Really reach beside you. Now, if you do have a band or a bungee near you, you're always welcome to pull on one of those if you'd like. Make it a little bit tougher in that last round. Good, rotating the upper back, keeping the hips strong for three, two, one. Let's see if we can get a little lower on this inchworm. I'm gonna start a little bit early, touching my toes. I'm ready to go. Let's go as far as we can here. Now, if you want the challenge, I want you to come forward as far as you can go and hold it for the remainder of this 20 seconds. If that's not for you, keep going. Strong shoulders, strong core. You can feel the body start to shake. Pull the belly button to the roof. Don't let it drop. Three, two, one. All right. We're tough jumping or not, rotating or not but we're bringing our hands to our knees no matter what. Ready, let's go. Knees up, one, two, stand nice and tall. Rotate. I wanna make sure you're jumping both ways. Feeling the quads. Almost there. Stand each time. All right, one more, here we go. And shake them out. Woo, we're going into our last round here, team. Getting nice and low. Sink into that squat, and let's get the hips going. In, out. Remember, if you're coming up nice and high, you'll still get that internal rotation. So if it's too much, stand a little taller. 
but do your best. You only got 10 seconds to go. And relax, all right. We're getting rid of that quad burn for a second here. Going into that twist, legs up or down. And let's go. Rotating the upper back. If you've got that band, giving it a pull to rotate you. Pull, feel those abs burning for four, two, and one. All right, challenge here is to hold that inchworm the whole time. Let's walk it down 30 seconds if you're comfortable as far as you possibly can to hold. You know what to do if you're not. Zip your legs. If you're slipping a bit like me on the mat, maybe move your body to the floor. Pull the shoulder blades back and down. Three, two, one. All right, coming up for that last round of tuck jumps. Now it's up to you. Rotating the whole time or not. Getting nice and low, sinking down. Ready, set, go. Reset. Almost there. Let's go, last bit of burn. And recover. Whew. That is it for round number one. We're gonna take pause for a second here. Oh, I'm gonna stop the timer for ya. And we're gonna just hang out while you reset, grab some water. I'm gonna show you what's up for the next set. Rotating travel squat. Adding or taking away weights. You're gonna go like this. Down, rotate, rotate. Okay, so the whole time, if you wanna wait, you're gonna pop one into your hands and you're gonna go like this. Down, pivot, down, pivot. Okay, back and forth, nice and easy. After we're done that, we're gonna go into a rotating plank. So like we did in the warm up, but on your elbows, you're gonna go like this. Reach, rotate, down. Reach, rotate, down, alternate. If this is too much for your shoulders, you are more than welcome to go up on your hands and do the same thing. After that, we're gonna go into a glue bridge. If you think about how you get up on a snowboard sometimes, it's kind of like you've got to push yourself off the ground. So I want you to think about doing this one, pushing yourself up, but reaching up instead. I'll tell you when to switch. We're gonna go half and half. If you don't have a dumbbell, do the same thing, exactly the same. After you're done that, we're going into a lunge and punch. Your hips are ready for this. Reach down, opposite foot. Rotate, keeping both feet on the ground. One direction, 15 seconds, other direction, all right? So, let's start with that rotating squat. Dumbbell or not, let's give it a go. In five seconds, you're on. In three, two, one, we rotate, squat it down. Good, reaching around, reaching around. Perfect, as many as you want. This one may vary over time as we go through these workouts by stepping back, then forwards, back, and forwards. Almost there. Three, two, one, and relax. We're going into that rotating plank on your elbows or your hands. Get the elbows locked together, reach under and open, alternate. Reach, pivot the heels. Reach, rotate. I want this to feel hard. If you're on your elbows, you should already be feeling it. 
reach. Awesome, we're almost there. And break. Beautiful work. Going into the blue bridge press. Again, starting on one side, with or without weights, heels on the ground. One hand back, reach the hips as high as you can. I'll tell you when to switch. Let's go. Hips up. And switch hands, moving in quickly, push. Three, two, one. All right, team. We're going into those lunge punches. One direction first. Let's all reach down to the right foot with the left hand. Ready? Down, punch with the right. Just like we did in the first set with the hips. Feet on the ground, rotating internal and open. Two, one, switch sides, down. Rotating the upper back as the hips stay still forward. Two, one, shake it out. Nice work. All right, this rotating squat this time. If you'd like to stay low, make it a little tougher, stay low. It's mean, but here we go. Down, rotate, rotate. All right, staying there. There we go. Stay low for three, two, one, relax. All right, we're going into the plank. Really reach under your body this time. Ready, and reach under. Feel the obliques work. That's this muscle here, rotate in, and reach up. All right, in three, two, one, relax. All right, we're going into the glue bridges. Again, weights or no weights, we're gonna go halfway there, hand down, feet back, ready, set, go. Lift and reach, if you've got no dumbbell, same exact motion. Lift. Almost there, one more and switch hands up, down, punch, down. Hips all the way to the sky. Rotate and one. Awesome work, lunge punches. Let's start the other direction this time. Right hand, left leg, three, two, reach down, rotate up. Again, lots of quads, lots of rotation. When you think about snowboarding. And switch. Pinning both knees down. Bending the legs rather than rounding the back. Two and one. All right, awesome work. Now again, staying low here if you'd like, or ramping it up. Dumbbell or not, ready, set, let's go. Down, lift if you want to. They wanna judge me, I'll testify. Catch me on Insta, I'm verified. They want me quiet, I amplify. I'm on my way. Perfect, going down and back the other way. Remember when you're doing a squat, you wanna be hips behind and to the side. Three, two, one. Taking yourself into that plank position here. 
Working those obliques. One more of these, let's go. Rotate from your heels. Toes to heels. Good, sides of the feet. Remember to keep your shoulder pushing the ground away from you. You never want to be sinking into that shoulder, pushing the ground away. Good job, almost there. One more. Perfect. Rolling over into that glute bridge. Weight or no weight. Ready, set, go. Lift like you've got to get up off the ground. Hip square, back rotated. Let's go. Switching arms, pushing up. Hip square. And done. Nicely done, everybody. Here we go, lunge punches. We're gonna go back to the right. Three, two, one, reach down, punch. Remember, we're not rounding to touch the ground. We're bending the knees. Good, switch that. In three, and rest. Whew. Good job, everybody. We're gonna stop the clock. Go into our third, final round. Hopefully, if you're anything like me, I've gotten a lot of nice little cricks, cracks, pops. My hips are feeling more open now, so we're ready for what's to come. I want you to grab a dumbbell or roll up your mat if you don't have one to a point where your heels can be elevated slightly, okay? So weight or no weight, I'm gonna take my heels and set them on top of the dumbbell like this. From the side, it should look like I'm going down, my butt goes down, my knees go way over my toes. I'm in a safe position here because my knees are elevated. Don't just plop down, control it, come all the way, almost to the top, and then go as fast as you can. Letting your range of motion sink way down. Really important because in snowboarding, a lot of the time, we are putting our knees over our toes. So we've got to get that also on land. So that's our first exercise as fast as you can. Right when we're done, find a wall. We're gonna do a wall sit. While those quads are burning, that one's really working that VMO, that inner thigh muscle. I want you down 90, 90 degrees, 30 seconds, okay? Straight into it. After that, we're doing an oblique crunch. So what I want you to do, again, really focusing on some of these uh, oblique muscles on the side, either on your hand like this, knee down, or feet up like this. I want you to go long and then come to the middle. Okay, so we're really working still that kind of crunch in the middle and that oblique while you're holding that side plank. Last but not least, we're gonna do a mobility exercise on our bellies, hands out to the side, 90 degrees. When you go over, take your knee up, tap it to the other side, up and tap. All right, now this is getting that rotation of the upper body in a whole different zone because it's keeping your upper body still while your hips are opening side to side. So all of this encompassing, you're gonna feel pretty damn good for the hill. So we're gonna pop up and we're gonna get things going in a second here. So either roll up your mat or grab that dumbbell so that you're sitting. In about five seconds, we're gonna start that timer. Your knees are gonna go way over your toes and you're gonna come halfway up, ready. 30 seconds in three. Oh, um, we gotta start that timer again. Give me one second. We're just gonna hit the reset button while I adjust this in four, three, Two, let's go. Knees forward, up as fast as you can, as low as you can with control.
It should be burning. Toes up, knees forward. Come on. Function, it's not fun. It will be later. Two and one. Whew. All right, while those quads are burning, head straight to a wall. Find yourself in a 90 degree position. Ready and hold. Try to think about something else here. Think about all the powder that this is gonna help you get through while your legs are feeling like this all the way down the hill. We're halfway there, keep holding. I'm gonna do a little shoulder mobility while you're here. Internal, external rotations. We know when we take a slam, we need that shoulder health. That's why we're on our hands today. Two, one, and pop up. Going into that side plank again. I'll tell you when to switch. Elbow or hand, ready. Let's go. In, reach, in, reach. Now this one, we're gonna switch up as we go through this round. But right now, I want two more. One and two. Switching around to the other side. Reach and go. Feel the obliques. Two, one. Nice work, everybody. Again, that one's gonna be a little bit different later, but alternating prone. We're gonna lay on our bellies here. Hands out 90 degrees, and we rotate. Reach for the ground. Slightly bending the opposite arm. Trying to tap that toe. Awesome work, 10 seconds to go, and we're back into our squat. Good, three, two, one, and done. All right, people, getting that dumbbell ready, getting into our squat position straight away. Ready, let's go. It's so nice to feel this little burn on those off days, getting ready for the next time you snowboard. Doesn't take much time. Gives you all the right energy. Up and down, let's go. Two, one, nice work. All right, while we're burning, we're going into that wall sit. Get a little extra seconds on there. Straight in, ready. Let's go. Again, maybe you're doing a little bit of shoulder work. Pulling up, trying to keep your elbows and your hands on the wall. Internally rotate, back up. Just distract yourself with something else that feels sticky. Nicely done. Up and open. 10 seconds, come on. Three, two, one. All right, this time in that plank, watch closely. I'm on my elbows getting the obliques by turning and looking at my knee. Alternate here. I'm looking at it so I can get a little extra crunch. Lean yourself forward into your elbows and your wrists so that your knee taps your armpit. All the different ways to work shoulders, work abs. Come on. Two, one. Take it down to the ground for those prone knee over body. Ready? And let's go. Lifting, rotating, trying to keep things pretty still. Getting a nice shoulder stretch. Again, when we take a slam, snowboarding, we want to be prepared for what our shoulders can handle and mobility is part of that. So we're working a lot of stabilizers and a lot of mobility today. 10 seconds. But hopefully after this, your legs are so strong you won't slam. Three, two, one, relax. 
Last round, let's get straight into those sissy squats. All right, heels up, set, go. Again, your heels are on your mat or on a dumbbell, something elevated, a book, anything. Let's go. And one. Moving your dumbbells out of the way, heading straight to the wall. All right, 90 degrees, here we go. Relax. I like to work those mobility exercises for my shoulders. It distracts the muscles that are burning in the legs. Move whichever which way you can. Strong shoulders here. Eight seconds. Two and one. Now out of those last two plank exercises, I want you to pick your favorite one. I'll give you the halfway mark for if you're on one arm. Three, two, let's go. Leaning into it, I wanna see elbow all the way to that armpit. Good, if you're on one hand, switch. Lean for it, come on. Two and one. Laying on to our stomachs, last exercise for mobility here. Hands out to the side. Ready, and let's go. Really reach that leg over. The more you can straighten out that long shoulder, more stretch you'll feel. Even sometimes cactusing that arm will make you feel that really nice shoulder stretch. Leave it in this position. May take away a little bit of that hip mobility, but it's stretching out the shoulder. Three, two, one. Now from here, just pushing ourselves back into a child's pose, taking a few deep breaths. Good, coming forward, take your right leg with you and stretch, open that hip. Maybe lifting up the back leg arm, reaching, squeezing your glute forward. If you can, take that hand down, reach back for your foot. Maybe you have a quad stretch here, maybe you do it after standing. Either way, we're still stretching out the hip. Now you should feel pretty well balanced right now in terms of mobility, stability, and a lot of quad work. So if anything, it's nice to mix this in with a couple other programs that maybe you can do. Public Myth is putting out snowboarding, skiing. It's all related. A lot of the same muscles, just different patterning. So it's important to understand why we're doing half of this stuff. Good, from here, sitting on your bum and windshield wiping your legs just back and forth. And maybe next time you do this workout, do this at the beginning and the end because your hips should feel much more mobile and much more open right now. Take as many of these exercises as you want for a good snowboarding warm up. Get the quads moving, get the hips going. And then let's put out some more later once you get really good at this one. And we'll see you soon.